Huge news from Sana Biotechnology this week. This is really earth shattering. If you are a diabetic or you know someone who is, this could be the road to the cure. They made a big announcement that they're pushing everything else they're working on to the side and just focusing on their HIP hypoimmune therapy. Is this going to destroy the company or are we going to get a cure for type 1 diabetes? We've got the whole story for you right here, right now. Type 1 Diabetic Warriors Our team is committed to bringing type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Sana bet the entire company on this diabetes cure. For millions, life with type 1 diabetes is a relentless 24-7 battle. It's a tightrope walk of finger pricks, glucose monitors, and carefully measured insulin shots. It's not about avoiding sugar. It's about counting every carb and living with the constant anxiety that your blood sugar could swing dangerously high or terrifyingly low without warning. This isn't a lifestyle disease. It's an autoimmune war. In type 1 diabetes, the body's own immune system mistakenly identifies the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas as invaders and destroys them. Without those cells, the body can't regulate blood sugar on its own. A simple meal becomes a complex medical equation. For decades, the Holy Grail has been replacing these lost cells. Scientists tried transplanting healthy islet cells from donors, which sometimes works. The problem? The body's immune system attacks these new cells. To prevent this, patients must take powerful immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of their lives. These drugs carry their own heavy risks, including infection and other side effects. You're trading one lifelong condition for another. This is where Sana Biotechnology enters. Their idea for solving this problem was both incredibly complex and beautifully simple. What if, instead of drugging the patient's immune system into submission, you could just make the new cells invisible? This is the core of their hypoimmune, or HIP, technology. Think of it as giving these life-saving cells a biological invisibility cloak. Our immune cells are like security guards, constantly checking the ID of every cell they meet. These IDs are proteins on the cell surface called HLA molecules. If the HLA ID doesn't match the body's own, the immune system sounds the alarm and the cell is destroyed. Sana scientists figured out how to perform a kind of cellular identity theft for good. First, using genetic engineering, they erase the HLA markers from the donor cells. This is akin to removing the cell's ID badge, making it difficult for the body's specialized forces the adaptive immune system to identify it. But that's not enough. The body also has a frontline defense called the innate immune system, which gets suspicious of any cell without an ID. So Sana's team added a second layer of camouflage. They engineered the cells to overproduce a protein called CD47. CD47 is a universal don't eat me signal that tells those frontline immune cells, I'm one of you. The result is a ghost cell a fully functional insulin-producing cell that can be transplanted to do its job, completely hidden from the host's immune system. No immune attack and, crucially, no need for the life-altering immunosuppressant drugs. This was the theory, and it was so powerful it led the company to make the biggest decision in its history. A revolutionary idea is one thing. Betting your company on it is another. In a shocking move in November 2025, Sana Biotechnology did just that. They didn't just reshuffle priorities, they made one of the boldest strategic moves in modern biotech. The company announced it was suspending development of multiple other promising programs, including CAR-T therapies for cancers. These weren't failing projects, they were valuable assets representing years of work and millions in investment, and Sana put them on the shelf. Why? To go all in on their hypoimmune platform with the type 1 diabetes therapy designated SC451 as the star player. President and CEO Steve Haar made it clear the goal was a single treatment that could lead to normal blood glucose levels without any need for insulin or immunosuppression. This was Sana's all-in moment. By narrowing their focus so dramatically, they have tied their entire future to this single, audacious technology. 
If it works, it will redefine the treatment of diabetes and countless other diseases. If it fails, the company's future is in jeopardy. The stakes don't get any higher. But they also had a powerful ally, the data. In preclinical studies with non-human primates, the results were staggering. They transplanted their engineered hypoimmune islet cells into diabetic subjects without any immunosuppression. For six months, the cells survived. They produced insulin in response to glucose. And crucially, the immune systems left them alone. The invisibility cloak was working. These studies, showing the cells could survive and control blood glucose for at least six months, gave Sana the confidence to push forward. This incredible scientific drama is unfolding right now. The results we're about to discuss are the first glimpse of a future that was, until very recently, science fiction. If you believe in the power of science to change the world and want to follow this story, take a second to hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss what happens next. Confident after their primate data, Sana and their partners at Uppsala University Hospital in Sweden moved to the first in human trial. A patient with long-standing type 1 diabetes, whose body produced no insulin, received a transplant of these hypoimmune engineered islet cells into their forearm muscle. No immunosuppressant drugs were given. The first update came at four weeks. Doctors looked for C-peptide, a marker of insulin production. In someone with established T1D, this level is typically zero. But in this patient, for the first time in years, it was detectable. The cells were alive and working. That alone was a landmark achievement. At 12 weeks, the results held. Then came the six-month data. The patient's body was still producing C-peptide. When the patient ate a meal, C-peptide levels rose, meaning the transplanted cells were responding to glucose as they should. Advanced imaging confirmed the cells were still alive. Throughout this period, there were no safety issues and no signs of immune rejection. This was the first time donor islet cells had been shown to survive and function in a person with a fully active immune system without any immunosuppression. It proved the invisibility cloak wasn't just a theory. It worked on a human being. This was more than a successful experiment. It was a glimpse of a functional cure. Sana's next big step is their lead product, SC451. This version uses the same hypoimmune engineering, but with islet cells grown from stem cells. This is a game changer because it provides a scalable, unlimited supply, unlike donor cells, which are scarce. The company is preparing to file an investigational new drug application to start larger phase one trials, potentially next year. These trials will involve more patients and aim for a dose big enough to achieve the ultimate goal, insulin independence. The story of Sana Biotechnology is more than a medical breakthrough. It's a story about conviction. It's about a company that saw a chance to not just create a better treatment, but to potentially end a chronic disease and just decided to push all its chips to the center of the table. They took a revolutionary concept, hiding cells from the immune system, and backed it with one of the biggest corporate gambles in modern biotech. Now, the first results are in, and they are breathtaking. The first in human data show their hypoimmune cells can survive, function, and make insulin for at least six months without immunosuppressive drugs. For the millions living with type 1 diabetes, this story is a powerful beacon of hope. The hope that one day, the relentless daily fight could be just a memory. A functional cure is no longer just a dream. It's a tangible goal, being chased with unmatched focus by a company that bet everything on it. What do you think about Sana's all-or-nothing strategy announced this month? Is this bold, high-risk approach the future of how we should tackle chronic disease? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Well, I think that this is a great example. Today, in the corporate world, you seldom see examples of leadership like these guys. So much so that they are so impressed by the data on their hippo immune HIP technology that they are willing to risk the entire company. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Uh, we use the metaphor of gambling the company. This is not really gambling. This is a calculated risk they're taking, all based on the data. Well, we wish them the best of luck. 
I love the idea from the first time I heard about it of disguising the cells from the immune attack, all with no immunosuppression. Let me know what you think. I always love to hear your comments, read them, and uh, you know, I go to school off of you guys sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed this. This probably is, I would say, my favorite video so far that we've done this year because it's so exciting. I hope you liked it. And we'll talk to you again here on Type 1 Diabetic. Warriors here real soon. Have a great day.